Hello, it's the media leader at Cannes Lions. I'm Omar Oaks, and here we are with Stéphane Corouble, who is CEO of RTL Ad Alliance. You walk down the Quasette at Cannes, and you can see lots of ad tech, yeah. lots, <laughs> but you don't see many TV. You are one of the only broadcasting organizations that actually has a presence on the beach. Um, so why do you feel it's important to do if your competitors aren't? <laughs> No, it's a good question, Omar, and uh, as, you, as you mentioned, if you look at this speech, and it has been the case for the last four years, to be honest, you see tech companies, global players, either coming from, from the US or either coming from Asia. And we are in Europe, we are representing the uh, TV industry, and when I mean TV, we call it total video versus television in the past, so it's much more, uh, I think, uh, looking for, uh, forward looking. Uh, and it is it's super important to be here and to uh, claim or share our beach back. Uh, as a uh, European broadcaster, we are defending not only RTL, but also the many broadcasters that we have under our roof, but also the whole industry as a whole. It's very important, I think. Yeah, because it, it's, it's such an interesting market, Europe, where you know some of the panels I've been watching this week, where you've had different measurement systems and different trading arrangements. I mean... Has it never been tougher to actually get all these different broadcasters to work together when you're offering this joint solution? No, it is clear that Europe is completely uh, different from the US where you have a, uh, a much more uh, visibility on uh, who to talk to, etc. If you go to Europe, you have, uh, first of all, many different countries, many different languages, many different ways of consuming media in the res respective countries. And within the countries, you have a uh, multiple multitude of players from private to public to uh, uh, you know TV radio uh, uh, online so huge level of fragmentation so it's very important today in a globalized world to be able to combine those uh, you know local heroes in a uh, pan-european uh, offer that we can provide to the clients or to the agencies do you think there needs to be more collaboration and how are you going to do that? So first of all, you know, RTL and Alliance, we, um, we are already an alliance of uh, multiple publishers, mostly TV broadcasters, but also uh, premium media owners um, and uh, online properties. We have a great uh, product, uh, we call it VMP, the video marketplace that we have uh, put in place a few years ago, it's ramping up pretty quickly and pretty nicely. But of course, we are uh, just a chunk of an offer in Europe. Is there an opportunity to consolidate more? I'm a true believer of that. But you need to convince your, uh, you know, your uh, daily competitor on the local markets to team up and have a bro broader and stronger offer at pan-European level. And this is what we're trying to do here. Yeah, and use that word consolidation. I mean, frankly, I mean, even though Europe is a huge market, when, even when you club together all you broadcasters, you are still small relative to the gaffer, you know, good, as Meta, Google, What's now wrong? Google, YouTube in particular, they're coming after the TV budgets. I mean, how, how are you going to be a solid competitor, do you think? Well, I think we are already uh, quite big. You know, uh, in, we're, we're not coming from the platform business, we're coming from a content business. So premium content has been our, our daily turf and everyone, all the clients that we meet, all the agencies, they want to be close to premium content because being closer to premium content means effectiveness in their campaigns. It brings more value back. Uh, that is a fact. So how can we team up in order to be stronger together? That's exactly what RTL Alliance is all about. So we're teaming up already a lot of players in, uh, in, uh, in Europe. Is that enough? I don't think so. We could still grow. Um, and this is why we're here, you know, try to connect, try to convince that, you know, we are uh, welcoming uh, additional players to our RTL and Alliance. Um, and, you know, we believe in uh, different pillars at RTL and Alliance. The first pillar is simplification. Due to fragmentation, as, as, as I was citing before, we need to simplify more and more the access to our inventory. And AdTech is here, technology is here to do that and it helps us in that. We have a few examples that I, I, can, I can show. Um, the second is we need to have strong brands. Um, you know, we are premium brand owners, we are developing premium content. So we need to be, not to be ashamed of what we are, we need to be bolder together and to say that TV is, works 
and works very hard. The third pillar is about trust. We need, of course, to, um, to build a trustful relationship with our clients, either the agencies or the clients direct, by providing pieces of research, the proper measurement, proper product that are you know, in line with their expectations. And the fourth one is very important, this is also why we're here, it's about collaboration. We are in Europe, it's really difficult to stand out against the big tech players or the global players, so it's necessary to collaborate in order to uh, claim our share back. How concerned are you that as more TV becomes online, um, more people will watch uh, social content like YouTube on the TV screen, that when you're trying to kind of have robust measurement systems for online viewing, that a lot of the conversations we have in the UK, and I hear about it in other markets as well, where you know, you're know you almost kind of adopting the, the substandard, compared to TV, substandard measurement systems. Like think about MRC standards for viewing as opposed to very evolved TV measurement systems, um, are, you, are you concerned about that? Well, we are uh, not only concerned, I think it's very important for us to be measured in a proper way. Uh, what is clear is, again, Europe is not one country, you have different measurement systems and we are keen to continue to, co to collaborate with uh, local JICs. We need to find the right methodology, but what is more important is to be able to consolidate the different audiences that are connected to our content and to aggregate those audiences in the right way. Um, and we are not a uh, two-second uh, stamp on a, on, a, on a screen. We are a full screen. We are a long-form uh, type of content. We are very premium. And this is what we want to measure. But we don't want to be measured against content which is not at that level. That's really clear. So we don't want to compare apple and oranges. So that's, I think, the main concern, if, it is, if there is one. Yeah, and do you think that message is getting through to advertisers? Because you talk to so many advertisers and you know, more, more budget goes on online display, um, even though people have concerns about effectiveness. Do you, do you think the effectiveness argument has been... I think, you know, it's a call to action here and uh, we need, again, to be a little bit bolder, to shout out loud and to uh, be able to also to speak as one voice as uh, the TV industry. I was in uh, London a few uh, weeks ago at the ECTA, the uh, European Association of Media Sales, and uh, this is what I said to my uh, colleagues. Uh, we, we, don't, we cannot be ashamed anymore. We are not ashamed. We shouldn't be. You know, we have a tremendous media where people are still consuming our TV, linear TV business for more than three hours a day. That's huge. Uh, of course, it's different when you are in the US, it's around 2 hours and 15 minutes, where here in Europe, it's 3 hours and 15 minutes. If you go in Asia, it's less than 2 hours. So perception is not reality. When you, are, you want to do a big campaign in Europe, you need to take into consideration the local figures, what the real figures. People are still watching a lot of linear TV. And on top of that, of course, we have a great streaming platforms that people are using and more and more and you can see it you know tf1 plus launched at the beginning of this year in france followed by m6 plus just a few weeks ago and i think this is really dynamizing the market and it's the same in uk with itvx great success rtl plus in germany great success so um, yeah i think uh, it's a combination of both it's about linear and streaming it's not just about legacy tv anymore and what about y younger viewers is the big problem where everyone has this perception that younger viewers are just TikToking all day and not watching TV. I mean, do you think, do you think the broadcasters have more to do to get, win back younger audiences? You know, I, for sure, younger audiences have a different way of consuming media. But if you look at it, you know, the total media consumption on a daily basis, including social media, is six hours and 30 minutes, if I'm not mistaken. Linear and BVOD only is already more than 51% of that time. If you add up VOD or SVOD or AVOD consumption, it's an additional 20%. So I don't have the, the breakdown between what is AVOD or SVOD, but still it's a tremendous amount of time which is linked to our business uh, on a daily basis. So. I don't think we have an issue with uh, the young generation. I think we need to provide them the right way that they want in order to access our content. And maybe one more thing. If you look at 
I, and I think it was a study uh, that went out in the UK just a few weeks ago, among the top 20 programs that are consumed on uh, uh, SVOD platforms at the moment, including Netflix and Amazon or, or, um, or Disney, 80% of those programs are programs for TV. So, and they are not just available on a subscription base, they are available for free on our platforms. Yes, um, and definitely as more streaming services, um, they integrate their ad-funded platforms, yes. there's going to be very interesting things where, where rights deals all over the place we're already seeing. Fascinating time. And final question, what's the key message that you want advertisers, agencies to take away from Cannes this year? Well, simplification is the, uh, the way forward, in my view, in terms of execution and technology and then collaboration. I think it's really clear for our industry, our iconic brand industry, to collaborate more and to stand out and not to be afraid by uh, you know, global players. Don't be afraid, that's a very good note to end on. Um, Stefan, thank you so much. You're very welcome, Omar, thank you. If you like this video, please subscribe. The Media Leader is the UK's leading source of analysis, opinion and data for people who work in advertising and media.